I want to dive right in on market share because we've heard this from some of your competitors very focused on how much market share they have in the United States. Flutter still comes at number a solid number one with 47 percent market share. But DraftKings gains are FanDuel's loss by just a couple percentage points. When you're looking at this, how important is capturing and retaining your players? Look, it's really, I mean, we're really pleased with the performance we've seen in the first half. It's a record market share for us across H1 in the online sports betting space. And we've actually taken share in iGaming as well, which we're particularly pleased about. I think from our perspective, you know, we've got the best product in the market, and that's what's most important to help us retain uh, those crucial customers. We acquired 2 million new customers in, in the half. And look, we're, we're, we're very pleased with, with the performance of the business. And you said multiple times on the call this morning that you were capturing 50 percent more uh, revenue in, from the handle than your competitors. How does your product play into that? Look, I think it's a really important point. You know, we've got nearly half the market and for every dollar of handle, we capture 50 percent more revenue. The way we do that is that we're just much smarter in terms of the way in which we price our, our products. You know, all of the history we have, all the global capabilities means that we're, we're much tighter and smarter around our pricing capability and we have a much better product suite for, for customers. And those things on a combined basis mean that we capture you know, that 50% more revenue from every dollar of handle. And of course, in turn, we can invest that in further product development, additional sort of marketing you know, competences and capabilities and partnerships and also into generosity for our customers. And that's what gets the flywheel going. And we're sure we'll you know, maintain our trajectory and momentum. Meanwhile, bombshell news uh, last night about Penn and ESPN tie-up. We just heard from our colleague at CNBC, Alex Sherman, about the Disney perspective on that. Can you weigh in here? I mean, number one, I know that there were talks with ESPN and FanDuel in the previous years about a tie-up. What's your sense of how much of an advantage your competitor, Penn, gets out of this deal with ESPN? Look, from, from our perspective, we've seen different competitors try and arrange themselves you know, to, try and, to try and take us on. Right? You know, we, we're the number one player uh, in, the, in the U.S. market with the number one you know, FanDuel brand. We know how hard it is to operate a subscale uh, business. You know, this is all about scale in the U.S. It's why you see us with such a big uh, share and you know, obviously DraftKings uh, you know, behind us. Uh, and then there's a very, very long tail of small operators. And it's, it's a really tough market to be in. You know, the investments are required to have a market-leading product are not straightforward. Uh, and I think you know, people are scrabbling around trying to find ways uh, to get themselves out of that very long tail of operators. But, it, but running subscale businesses is not easy. You know, we tried it in the, in the U.S. and it was not an easy thing to do. Brian Collin back at CNBC headquarters. Um, big of a year for your stock, uh, up over 30 percent year to date. Uh, are you still considering a U.S. listing later this year or at the start of next year? And how does this news with ESPN, how does that impact your plans for your U.S. operations? Well, we're, we're very excited about the progress we're making to, to attain that additional U.S. listing. And as we you know, stated in our release today, uh, I mean, progress remains on track. You know, we're preparing all the work we need to do uh, to file with the, with the SEC. And we hope that, you know, subject to, you know, to working through that, we'll be in place to have our additional you know, listing uh, in, in the States at the end of this year or very early next year.